Welcome back, my friends and fellow gamers. I'm Wrath, and we are back for episode six, I think, of the Phoenix Legion in Rogue Tech. So I want to apologize for the delay in the episode. Uh, obviously, some things came up at work, and I had to put in some some extra time. So wasn't able to, to do recordings. So it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and move on. Now, in the last episode, we got enough parts to put together a Wolfhound 1, but off camera, I went to see what the price tag on that was going to be for repairs to get it up and operational, and it was going to be almost as much money as we currently have. Uh, it was nowhere near, I mean, it was like 400000 just to fix up the frame because it is absolutely wrecked, which doesn't make any sense because when we destroyed it, we got the pilot to bail out, so we should have gotten the thing free and clear. Annoying as that is, we have to go and look at what is available. We need missions. We've got two days until financial report, so we need to get something done. Now, uh, we have some options here. I could try a one skull mission, but I'm worried that the, the overall cost of it will not work out for me. Let's try this one. Let's see what we can do with it. Because this this kind of mission could put us over the, if we if we could do some of these one skull missions, those could theoretically get us up above the 1 million mark enough that we could afford to put together the Wolfhound. And that would get these uh, frickin' uh, that, that would help us reduce the, the number of frickin' urban mechs that we have down to zero so that we could for the love of God maybe be able to change things up. I want to get a mech that can, you know, I, I want to get some more 35 tonners to replace the uh, the Raptors with because while they're nice, while they're they're very effective at what they're doing, they're they're limited. The being 25 tons means that they just do not have the capabilities that I need from them in order to be functional. So I would need to change out fundamentally their design in order to be able to keep going with them. Uh, more than likely, I'll need to strip them out of uh, their weapons and put in something stronger so that they can hit harder. Because right now, they're, they're operating on the realm of throw enough shit at the wall and hope something sticks. So they they operate right now with uh, throwing throwing enough enough at the wall to cause the system to you know cause whatever they're hitting to cry like a baby. So let's see here. Okay. Well, I was hoping not to have to fight Davian, but all right, we have a target, a mortar technical. What is that? It's like an armored car, right? Yeah, it's like an armored car. That's not good. 
So we're gonna we're gonna roll up on this guy as fast as we can because nothing says a really bad idea like having an enemy unit right there. Oh, oh, here we go. That's uh, a Jenner. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, let's change these two up. He's got ECM. Shoot. We don't have any long range stuff, so we're going to have to get in there and jack his world straight up. Jesus. Okay, Fresca, go dunk on that thing. Come down there and I'm going to screw you right the hell up. Die, you little piece of shit. Alright, just outside of your ECM range. Give you a little bit of a kicking. We'll keep going here. Also, just outside of range, so. All right, we've exposed structure on that thing. Die. Oh yeah, she's going for the stealth. Oh no. Jeez. Okay, play the leapfrog over that way. All right, let's let's get a good clean line of fire here. going right into the ECM but we're point blank range so let's try it oh for shit's sake come on that's right whatever that is it is screwing us up hard Got it. Oh, yes. Boom. You 
freaking silhouetted there. Oh, dogs are going nuts. 50-50, that's no good for you. Oh, yes, whatever you were, you're done now. Okay. Good to the last drop. down gotta love freaking Fresca even though he's using what I consider to be the most garbage mech in the universe he makes it work with that LBX he just does not put up with anybody's crap Are we detecting any more enemies? Nope. Okay, so he's technically in there. Let's go ahead and start everybody else moving. Oh, jeez. Right on top of us. Damn. Okay. Let's pick some targets here. What do we got? We've got a weapon carrier LRM, a missile platform, an Urban Mech 60. That's not good. Then a fourth one, which is a swordsman. Ow! No, no. No, 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 no. You are extremely dangerous. Because I think you're a heavy. Oh, no. 40 ton. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. They pretty much have limitless... Evasion. So we're going to get in position here and see if we can't nuke one of these guys on the spot. All right. Okay, doomsday. You as well. Copy that. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I need to put one of these down before the battle, before the, before we get into anything terrible here. Preferably this one that's closest would be nice. Alright, we at least picked the one that was going to be the most likely of an issue. Base defenses, thank you. Is it going to move right after that? Yep. Oh, yeah, I, forgot, I almost forgot about that, Irby. You missed. Oh, you got me with the lasers. Oh, God, that thing looks terrifying. I want it so badly. Oh! God, that was a waste of ammunition. That's it. Oh, nice. That was good. That was good business. Okay. We want that one. One down. Okay. Yeah, well, let's do that. Oh, that's it. Come on. That swordsman is super dangerous. Let's see, uh, he's still got a fair bit of stability damage. Oh yes. God, he is really good at hitting headshots. Come on. Ow. I'm gritting my teeth here. Let's get in here and make for some serious damage. So because that one shoots, one of those guns shoots some very deadly aerial attacks, I do not want any of these things in close proximity to me so, so that the base defenses focus down that thing. 
Oh, wow. Oh, nice. He bailed. Okay, let's uh let's get in and screw him up. Boom, hip destroyed, yeah. All right, cat. Can you repeat? Let's get a secondary hit like that. And finish him off. Holy smokes! He's disarmed, isn't he? He's got no weapons left. Yeah, he's got no weapons left. So if I maneuver to here, I should be able to bash him without much problems. There we go. All right, so we got jacked. Oh, we're not done. Link up with the main compound. All right, we're going to leave Fresca behind because he is seriously damaged. All right. So we're going to leave behind uh, Fresca. I had to pause it there for a second because I had a phone call. Uh, but we're going to leave Fresca behind so that we can bring the rest of the units up this way. So that way we are not going to risk his mech because he's already considerably damaged. He's almost lost that right arm. Uh, and I really, really don't want to chance that any further. So we're going to push the other three up. We're going to let Fresca try to catch up, but... For the most part, we're going to be... working from just these three, even though they're fairly damaged as well. Okay, you keep coming. Okay. Oh, looks like we're going to be doing some more fighting. Uh, oh, good. It's good to know that the enemy is, like, right here. the enemies. So we got a Valiant. What are you? Okay, so you're some kind of light mac, I think. It's a nice looking mac. Don't get me wrong. All right, what are my 
my choices here? Can I? I can't outmaneuver them that way. Need to let them get in a little bit closer so these defenses can have a crack at them. To swing him around on the flank and I'll have Fresca start working his way up that side too. There we go. Okay, we're going to keep working this. I need to get some ECM. If I can find some and squeeze it in on one of my mechs, that would be awesome. I think I actually have some, like a Warfare Suite or something. Now it's time for us to get in. Now well, we got a little bit of a hit. Uh, he's going to take a little bit to get back over there. I may have misjudged with him. Here we go. Hi there. Unload with everything that we got. Nothing hit. Wow, you are cross-eyed. Let's run up the road with him. He's gonna barely be useful at all in this fight, but anything's better than nothing. Ouch. Let's get in there and take this thing down as fast as possible. OK, 
Okay. I'm going to get down there and engage that damn thing. our own stuff. Okay, he's not doing anything useful. Nice. Ouch. And fire. About time. <laughs> Sending him around this way to flank was a bad decision. Hi there, boys. Good night. Mm. Well, he's almost made it to the battle. <laughs> Repairs on this are going to be horrible. But we were punching above our weight class on this one. Oh, Jesus, don't hit me. Let's get her right up into his side here and blow it off. Right through the arm and the side side torso. Okay, you're done. Okay. Nice. Okay. 
Oh, that could have been so much worse. We were punching above our weight class, and that hurt, but it was within acceptable tolerances. Assuming that the price tag isn't too high, we made 300 and some odd, so that's enough to cover our expenses for the re expense report. And not too much damage on the other units. So, what's up? Okay, so he lost a heat sink. Okay, so Jenner parts, sword parts. One, two, three, four, five. We're never going to be able to get uh, those 30 ton Valiant. Light skirmisher, man. And we left a lot of those parts, too. That's that's disgusting. The worst part is I need... I need to spend it on this engine here. As much as that, as much as that sucks, like I'd like a bunch of this stuff, I can't afford not to buy that engine because I need that for the Wolfhound. Uh, just from my knowledge of having checked out what the, the damage was going to look like. Uh, and it's it's not pretty. So we got a piece of the Valiant. We got that hatchet though. That's nice. That's, that's very nice. That is a, a Nice little melee weapon. Let's see how much the damage was. If I can keep it under 90,000, then it wasn't that bad. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Twenty seven. That's not bad. Nine days of repairs. So now we're going to go ahead and go into the mech bay for the Irby that's damaged. Stop the work. and do the refit. So his big thing is that he lost a heat sink. We can repair that with another heat sink. Only other one that we have in stock. Jeez. That could have been costly. Okay. 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 All right, so actually, what's the uh, let's go back here. What's the armor makeup on this one here? So it's forty, forty, fifty five, and sixty, fifty. Well, let's see if we can't uh, adjust that a little bit here. Okay, so replace the damaged heat sink. And then let's do Okay, 
45 there. Fifty. Fifty. All right, let's do fifty on each of the sides and seventy in the center. So we'll make this one a bit chunkier because we're taking we're taking more abuse. So I know that they put more in the legs previously, but everybody's pretty much the same speed no matter what you do. Leg it or don't leg it, it's still going to be pretty much junk. All right, that puts us over a million, so that would be safe to put together the other unit. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to get rid of this javelin part because I don't need it and it's just chewing up space. Uh, and I want to put together the wolfhound at this point. Where are you? You're the valiant that we just popped down. I'd like to, you know, this chameleon would have been really nice to get. Uh, because they're, they're pretty nice. But a wolfhound is uh, a wolfhound is as much as we're going to be able to really reasonably hope for here. So take the five parts, put it together here. But like I said, repairing this thing is going to cost a fortune. Uh, I think that we're going to have to repair it a piece at a time. Because like if I repair it all, it's 400,000 just to repair it. Not even to, to put anything in. So if I don't do that, if I just do it a little bit at a time, that's 88,000 and I can replace some of these parts that are here. Uh, so we can say, all right, uh, 210 core. So let's see here. Okay, so that's engine heat sinks. Uh, let's see here. We need an engine to put in there, and we need a cooling system. Standard heat sink cooling. And we need a standard fusion engine in order to make this work. So we'll we'll do that work as well. That will be uh, that will that will be a little bit, and we'll just repair this a little bit at a time. All right, let's change the order of the tasks here. Wolfhound on the bottom. Uh, let's move the stealth up because we can probably get these two done in the same time frame because we have two bays going. All right, so we'll basically have everything back in order in six days. We'll continue to work on this and we'll slowly but surely fix up this wolfhound into a functional mech. But that will be in the next episode. So until next time, I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, 
leave a subscription, you know, join in. Uh, and for those of you who are paying attention, please leave a comment. Let me know if you want to take the place of one of my pilots. And I will alter the pilot and put your name in there. Until next time, I will catch you on the flip side.